Jared Polinfronosphoto.com, and I am here with Raw Edit of the Week number 66, and it's brought to you by Allenscamera.com. Check out Allenscamera.com if you are in the United States or will be coming to the United States sometime soon for some awesome pricing and just all-around great service. Uh, I love them they're like family to me. Anyway, we've got the Raw Edit 66 here. That's right, 66 weeks of Raw Edits, and it's a file from a Fine Picks. It's a Fuji X100. Very interesting image, taken one one thousandth of a second, 5.6 ISO 223 millimeters. This is really cool looking. The way that the angles of the buildings are set up, the way that the Empire State Building is straight, the lines are impeccable in this image. Uh, the photographer did a tremendous job with this shot, with composition, with exposure, with framing. Just everything about this image is great. And there are so many possibilities for raw edits in this image. So as always, please send your raw edits of this file only post them in the forum, Facebook, you know, on all the different social media places that is fine. Do not email me your raw edits of these files. They will be deleted and they don't get entered. Uh, they won't be entered into the raw edit. Uh, but you can also make a screen flow and upload that to YouTube as a video response to this raw edit video number 66. Uh, so I really think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this one this week, whether it's black and white color, whether it's 1920s, 1930s, 2000s and 20s, you know, are you going to make this a fifth element style type of image? What are you going to do with this? Please name your raw files, Frono's photo, raw edit number 66. And also, if you'd like to send a raw file, any raw file, we're looking, I get your raw files that you guys are sending in. I do go through them as they come in, and I'm looking for files that are, I, I guess, as quality like this, things that have interest that can be edited. Uh, feel free to send whatever you would like in. It could be a landscape, it could be sports, it could be portraits, it could be animals, it could be just about anything, but it, it really should be a file that is has the possibility of strong editing. It doesn't need to be the most perfectly exposed image, but sharpness and, and clarity is definitely a case there. If it's out of focus, it kind of makes it difficult to try and bring that back. So this is a really cool file for number 66. You can send your raw files that you'd like to submit to submit to fronosphoto at gmail.com. Be sure to post these raw edits in the forum so I can showcase your files at the end of the week. So there you have it. This is number 66. Let's see what you come up with. And now we're off to see my raw edit followed by Adams. And after that, we've got your raw edits of the week 65. So stay tuned. So let's get to my edit followed by Adams edit. And then after that, you've got your raw edits of this file. So here we go. What am I looking for in this image? Well, I don't want to pull back too far on the sharpening, which I saw a lot of people do in your raw edits, where they made it so glowy McGloerson that, you know, Lil didn't have any wrinkles left. And, you know, when you're 100 years old when this picture was taken, uh, I think it's important that you keep the character that is left in the images. So I think I'm going to keep this a color. I don't really... it. it you know, it's not the easiest photo to edit using the lighting that I had. There was some window light coming in off the side, and then there's the, the lights above... Uh, so let's just see what we got here. And I don't think there's terribly too much to do to it. Get my exposure up uh, slightly. Pop down this uh, color. There we go. Uh, I don't want to add magenta and I don't want to add cyan. So I'm going to put it right there. I don't want to add too much yellow either. But I still want her cheeks to be rosy because she wears her rose color blush. There we go. We got the eyes here. Uh, everything looks good. I mean, it's pretty simple. Black and white. I don't want to go black and white personally. I think the color is softer in this case. The blue of her shirt. And this is a very... This is exactly the color of the chair. It's teal. 1950s diner style chair. So I think this is a pretty reminiscent photo uh, edit being that I was actually in the situation being that it was my photo this is what it looked like uh, how much sharpening not too much 
just want to add some, uh, sorry, clarity. And you, you don't want to over clarify it because that's what happens. It looks bad, in my opinion. So I'm just going to go not this way. I'm going to go right about here. Let's do 11. 11? I'm 11? Got it. Add my sharpening. We got it right there. Uh, I like the cro the composition the way it is. I don't really think there is much in the way of a crop that would do this any justice without cutting off the fingers and just cutting off the hands, cutting off the plate. I mean, that could work, but that's not anything. That I'm just going to leave it the way it was because this is how it was shot. And just so you know, if you were to print an 8x10, this would leave enough room at the top for an 8x10. Let's see what we do with a little more contrast and I really like this I really think that this is how this image looked uh, it's very close to the scene I don't want to make it too blue I don't want to make it too yellow I want it just about right because there's still warmth in there and she's got all of this age in her face and I think that's where I'm gonna leave it and coming up right now Adam your edits up followed by your raw edits of the week Adam Lerner and welcome to this week's raw edit and this week we have a picture of the lovely Lil taken by uh, Jared Poland. Um, just a really wonderful portrait and uh, just brings a smile to my face. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have had a lot of fun. Um, you know, I've, I've looked in the forum. I, I think that there's really some terrific edits out there. And, uh, you know, I want to, I'm glad to have the honor to edit uh, this image as well. So, I think right off the bat, I am probably considering a color edit um, and a black and white edit. I'm not quite sure which is going to be the one that I, I go with, um, but I'm going to start color and then I'm going to go black and white. So let's get into this right here. So very first thing I want to do is I'm just going to pump up my blacks a little bit. Just something like that. I'm just going to add a, a touch of fill, something there. I'm going to add a bunch of contrast. And somewhere around there, let's just see how that goes. Okay, and you can see the colors changing because we're adding more blacks in doing so. Those midtones are coming through, so I'm going to get to the color temperature later. And I'm just going to pull the clarity back just a touch, just just to soften things up a little bit, a little more flattering. Somewhere around there, um, saturation. I'm just going to come down just a hair. And let's see, I'm going to leave the HSL alone for now. I don't really want to get into any split toning. And we're just going to sharpen this up a little bit. So we'll just grab Lil's eye. Oop. Let's grab, use the, uh, the picker over here. And I'll just bring that in a little bit. And I'm going to do some masking. So we only are sharpening the edge detail and not the texture as much. Somewhere around there like that. Let's just look at the before. Let's look at the after. It's a subtle difference. But, um, you know, we're definitely getting somewhere with this over here. Now, as far as the white balance goes, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a kick. Just somewhere like that. You know, I don't want it to be yellowish. Um, so let's just go again. Before and after, before and after. You know, it still has like a little bit of an amber tone. I'm going to just try the white balance color picker here. And I'm going to try to pick somewhere neutral like this table. You know, it looks very blue. But uh, I'm just going to bring it up somewhere around there. And let's just look at the before and after. You know, it's just, it's a tough one right here. Um, because I like what was happening previously. And I'm just going to bring the tint down. You know, I might end up just going black and white with this thing. Um, because I'm just not, you know, I'm not in love with, with what I'm doing color-wise. But that's perfectly cool. So I'm going to hit the V key. And let's add a little bit more contrast. We're going to a little more fill, and we're going to add some blacks somewhere around there like that. Yeah. I'm going to do a little bit of cropping here. I know Mr. Jared does not like this to do much cropping. I'm just going to crop things down just a little bit like that, and somewhere around there. Um, yeah. Just right about there. That's what I'm talking about. You know, this little detail kind of bugs me. I'm just going to try to do a quick fix on that. I know that this is kind of, you know... Just see what happens if we just move that over. Because I don't want to see kind of a circular pattern there. Just see what happens if we just do that. Mm, that doesn't work. You know, I would definitely, if, if this were me, I would go into, I mean, if I had, you know, if I was going to put the proper time to this, 
I'd probably go into Photoshop and I would just Photoshop that out of there because that kind of bugs me a little bit. But um, you know, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna not get too too worried about that right now. So um, let's get back into editing this right here, and I'm just gonna see what happens when I pump up the contrast. You know, the thing about it is that it just pulls out so much of the the detail like that, and I just want to make this softer. I just want to make it a little bit more delicate, so I'm just gonna bring it to about there, and I might even use the uh, the skin softening. Um, so I'm just going to go into here, I'm going to select my custom brush, soften skin. And I don't want to go all the way because I don't want to make it too blotchy. I'm just going to go about 50%. I'm just going to look, use the O key for overlay. I'm just going to paint this on here, just a little bit like that. Somewhere like that. I kind of overstepped it, so I'm just going to erase this bit over here. All right, and we are going to zoom out. And we're going to lose the overlay. And, you know, let's just see. I mean, here's the before, here's the after. You know, I like what's happening with this. Let's just soften it up just a little bit more. Somewhere around there. Yeah. All right. You know, I'm going to keep it like that. Now, now that we have it like this, I think I want to add some vignetting just to kind of draw us more into to Lil's face. So I'm just going to grab the highlight vignetting. I'm just going to bring it in. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm really liking where that's headed right now. Yeah, that's super nice. And let's just give it some shape here, you know, somewhere around there. Change the midpoint roundness. Um, let's see, something like that. And feathering it. And feathering it is one of my favorite things because you can obviously kind of make it look corny, um, which is not my thing. But I like to feather it so that it just kind of fades in somewhat naturally, just somewhere around there like that. You know, that has a really, really, really super nice look to it. I just want to try. A little bit more of a crop. I know Jared's probably going to hate me for this. I'm just going to bring it down to about there, just for the time being. And just pop that over just a little bit. I don't really want to lose the plate. I'm just going to do something like that. You know, and that resolves that issue that I had on the top. Um, yeah, I kind of like what's happening there. I really do. You know, I'm just going to maybe just add a little bit more exposure to this. And, you know, oftentimes when you add exposure, you, you can... I mean, it has a softening effect because it brightens things and it kind of gives more of an equalizing effect. Look at the before and after here. I mean, what a difference. Wow. It's going to see what happens when we play with the contrast. Somewhere around there like that. Clarity. Again, you know, we can really soften it up or we can really, really bring it in there like that. And, you know, look, this, this look has a lot more character to the face. But again, I want to give this a more flattering, much more of a softer, subtle look somewhere, somewhere, somewhere around there, you know. And uh, let's just see. I'm wondering if we want to just add a little, a little bit of kind of maybe a little bit of a toning effect. Um, I know I did this last week and I really liked what I had there. And I'm just going to see, you know, what that might look like. Oh, you know, I brought that thing back in. I'm just going to. Get rid of that because I don't really like that. All right. But what I might do is I might just put my own toning on there. And, you know, I kind of like that. You know, I think it just has like a nice kind of a subtle vibe to it. Um, I think it's soft. I think it's it's still, you know, really speaks to who Lil is. And uh, I think that's going to be my edit. So, um, again, thanks, Jared. And let's go off and see what you've got. Now it's time for your raw edits of the week, number 65. So this was not the easiest file for you to edit, uh, in my mind. And I saw a lot of different edits that I thought were either too underexposed that made Lil just look really, or not underexposed, but they got too thick. The, the wrinkles became too much, or somebody pulled back on the exposure way too much. It just made the image too dark. Uh, and just made it feel too harsh. So that there's not terribly too many here that grabbed me this week. Uh, being that it's my shot, I guess I'm a little more harsh on it. But the ones that I did select, I will explain to you why I did select them. This, I like the color. Uh, even though she has a, it's, it's a blue shirt, not a purple shirt, I like the effect that's going on here in the background. It's adding some extra interest to the image. The crop, I don't mind. The crop is done very well. But what one thing I did talk about a little bit was trying to soften the skin a little too much. I think that the skin here isn't over softened. I think it's on the edge of being too far. 
but I still think it works, so that's why that is right here. This is a nice black and white. Black and white was a difficult conversion to make for this photo because of her eyes, because they are sunken in at this point, and there is a lot of uh, you know, darkness and, and shadow caused by that, but I think this is a nice edited image, and I don't think my normal style of over-contrast and, and really thick contrast would have done this image justice. So I think this is pretty darn close and a very nice job on a black and white edit. Uh, how can you go wrong with a Terminator edit? I think it's always fun to see it, and the added cookie on the, on the plate is definitely a good little touch. I know it's over the top, but I ask for that creative, creativity each week because it's fun to see it, and it's just interesting to see what you guys come up with. Um, I want to go back. Yeah, I guess that's how her smile's looking. This is a pretty much a tighter crop. Uh, I would have liked to have seen less of the of the, uh, the, the 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 teacup cut off, but I do like that they didn't cut off the hands. So nice job on that. The color is nice. I think the color editing is very nice. But I think again, they it's too soft. Uh, they took away too much of the the wrinkles, the history that was there in the face. Now. It's close, you know, it doesn't, it's not over the top where it's totally glowy McLowerson, but to me it just, she, I know, I know what she looks like because I'm the one who sees her and, and, and it's just, you know, it's not a, it's not your fault, it's not a major criticism, it's just when you're close to something you are more critical of it because you're close to it. So this is a nice edit, I think it's very strong and, and the more I talk about it, the more I do like what was done here to the skin. It's not too far over the top, and I think it does work, so nice job right there. Um, this is incredible. This is done extremely, extremely well. I find this to be funny. I think this is great. The Gene Simmons look with the, the, the kiss paint on the face, he'll probably sue me for saying that, uh, and, the, and the big tongue sticking out. That's creative. Nice job right there. This is an interesting one, too. Uh, the I also shoot raw is the one part I could live out, live without. I just think all the colors were very psychedelic, 1970s drop in acid. Um, it could be very interesting. It it it's very interesting. Look at that shirt. Uh, I thought this was cool. It gives it a 3D effect. Not the best color edit in my mind, but I like the creativeness that was done here. I like how the how Lil's coming out of the image. It just creates some dimension, and it really does see like something that would pop up as a holographic image. It's done well. Thank you. Nice job. This looks like my friend Ed with all that hair. Ed, like We got a friend named Ed, and he's got hair similar to this. I think this is funny. Lil would laugh at this. She'd like it. Nice job right there. Uh, drink, this is great. How big is yours? Very cool. With the pizza on the plate, she wouldn't eat that pizza because it has pepperoni on it. But for the color edit here, uh, it's a little too too yellow for my liking. Uh, it's not. It's it's a little too far. But I love the beer mug in her hands. That's great. Nice job. Way to go, right there. I like it. This is cool too. We've got you know the hand. The pencil, it's a digital illustration done on the computer, but I still think it's creative and worth showing here. Nice job. Putting the Phillies hat, sorry, the Sixers hat on, on Lil, nicely done. Putting the jersey on Lil, putting the bling, the ring on Lil, the Lil, the Lil Lil, and the, uh, the Sixers jersey. That's really well done. I really like how you put the jersey on her, the mesh jersey. The hat works really well. She looks really good there. The edit's pretty good. Uh, very nice job here. I really like how well you cut the hat out. But I think Lil would bend her hat. Well, no, she'd be a thug woman. She'd leave her hat not bent. There you go. This is cool. I like the background. It looks like she is out and about. Uh, the color, it's a little off because her, her powder blue or dark, a little bit above powder blue is the color of what the sweater was. Not purple, but her favorite color is purple. And this does look like she is sitting somewhere having tea in a hotel or something like that. I thought it would be cool if somebody did put Lil on a tea box. That's nice. Nice job there. This is a little over the top, but what, what I liked about this, even though it was over the top and the color is pretty much far off for my liking, uh, the crop is interesting. It's a narrower crop, but it's the eyes. There's something about the eyes that are drawing you in. It's the reflection that's going on there, and I think that's a very telling edit. And, and that is what I take away from this image, is that the edit for the eyes is what was done best right here. Uh, this is great, putting the ax in Lil's hand. This is really, really done well. Uh, it, Nice job. This is this is an incredible edit. 
uh, I like it, chopping the head off of somebody else, putting her on the body. It really does look good. Nice job. This is a pretty realistic edit right here. The color, they got it uh, square on. I would just like to see a little bit of exposure pumped up, just a, a slight bit, maybe a quarter of a stop, and this image would be close to perfect. Nice job. This is very creative. Having the reflection of Lil in the teapot. I really like, this is great. I, I, you know, they still, I, there's not much to say other than it's really a nice job done, especially adding the windows in the background. Probably took a picture of a teapot and then cut Lil over it. Really creative, nice job. I like what you did there. This is one of my favorite ones. I like seeing the, the Andy Warhol Hall esque type edit of Lil. I think she would really enjoy this. Uh, I like the colors, very creative, really nice job, and I thank you for doing that. The Last Supper with Lil, very interesting. Uh, they're trying to say that Lil is Jesus here. Uh, could be close, you never know. Um, but it's very interesting. It's very interesting, The Last Supper here with Lil. Nice job. Uh, I, even though this was cropped really tight, I think it captured the emotion of Lil. Uh, it, it gives you that Instagram feel to it. I think it's a little on the warm yellowish side, but other than that, they did a great job smoothing out what they smoothed. They made it softer, but not too soft. You can still see the wrinkles, and this is... Uh, <laughs> It's all getting to me. It's all getting to me. Uh, shoot raw, you must. Very creative with Yoda. It's very creative. Uh, it's very creative. This is a very strong edit. Th this is very, very well done. I think the one thing, it's a little too far on the, on the, uh, on the clarity slider, and that's just my only criticism of it. Other than that, if that was pulled back ever so slightly, I think this is one of the best edits that I've seen right here. Um, and this is another good edit, just maybe a little brighter, and we got it. And this was great. Obama holding the photo of Lil. I think Lil would appreciate that very much. And that takes us back to the beginning. So that is your raw edits of the week number 65. Be sure to edit this week's raw file number 66, which is a really cool shot done with a Fuji Fine Picks uh, X100. Really cool image of the Empire State Building done very, very well. Can't see can't wait to see what you guys come up with and that is it so be sure to upload your images to the Fronos Photo Forum because that is where I pick the final images for your raw edits of the week you can throw them on Facebook Google Plus Pinterest and uh, Flickr and all those places I love seeing them there and I like seeing how you guys share them with all of your friends so until next week Jared Poland Fronosphoto.com see ya